Welcome back to the madness that is the BTS behind with the Guardian Life team. Me is a Yahoo so sometimes he <laughs> likes to hide his things, hide his true identity. <laughs> So we are recording inside there, so we have to be really quiet. But I wanted to pick in Ken's brain for you people. Yeah. So we're just gonna stay here. So like when we send the mood board and these are the looks, these are the locations, what influences the designers you pick? What influences um the looks that you now eventually go for, even though that's pretty much like a direction mm -hmm. already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it first starts with the subject personality. Mm -hmm. So first of all, whenever anybody is selected to be shot, you end up going to the person's Instagram, look at the person's style, try to basically figure out what the person is comfortable wearing or not wearing. So we don't wear sleeveless, we don't wear shorts, so we don't wear those rest of the show, their legs or their chest or anything. So we start with that. Then second thing, now getting to the designers, you now have to already have like a nice compilation of designers for you to have an idea whose aesthetic fits into the direction of the look mm -hmm. or the shoot. Then based on that, you now have to now sit through designers and find who has pieces available in that person's size. Right? That's the see, this is the very size serious. size seems to be a lot of issues. Because sometimes when you send me stuff and then all of you yeah. are like, ah, it's not available it's not in that available, size. Exactly. You yeah. have to start making from scratch and maybe yeah. the shoot is like yeah. two yeah. days in yeah. and you literally can't do everybody that. Everybody does everybody does everything in sample sizes, that's the problem. So when you bring when you have a subject that's not in sample size and there's not enough time it's difficult to find clothes that will fit unless which is the plus side for me now is having partnership with all the stocky stores mm -hmm. so they have a range of sizes so you can now just go and be like okay i like this one do you have it in this size that's actually really nice i mean don't tell them too much i know i look like knowledge is power but i don't want you guys to come do not say ah, all this is you can't say that i can do it you do try your try your love i mean try try, try. <laughs> what, what I love the most is the energy everybody brings at the end of the day to the shoot. So most of the times it's not just about, okay, can you do the work? It's like, can you improvise on set? Um, can you relate well with the client or the people that we're working with? I just want her to do some first time. So maybe like, if you like this thing I just did, maybe I'll do something like that for the next video. So comment if you like and yeah. I will take you, I would help you pick out the brains of my creative team and how we basically choose stuff to shoot for Guardian Life. I like the blue drop. I also like the yellow tractor. I like the red containers as well. Even with the ladder. Good. So we're gonna keep the shoes out, right? Yeah. That's sick though. I like the smiling ones too. I look, I look nice when I smile. You look friendly.
Hello, my name is Benji Labi and this is 15 questions regarding life. Let's go. Okay, cool. So low price or internet? Internet, definitely. Uh, text messages or calls? Text messages, just don't bother me. <laughs> OLD or... Oh, older younger women. Uh, I have my lady at home, so I'm happy. <laughs> Uh, video vixen or futuristic videos? Futuristic videos all day, every day. Uh, weirdest thing that has given you inspiration for a shoot? Ah, I feel like I'm in a time pressure. Weirdest thing, um, a window display in a store. Uh, looks or intellect? Interlooks. <laughs> We started like around 11, it's past 1, maybe like we'll wrap up around 2, this is the third location, I'm tired. Thumbs up because you know how it is. Peace.